In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Chrome Remote Desktop via SSH. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you go to remotedesktop.google.com, you have your traditional remote access and remote support options, but there's also this third option, set up via SSH. Now, essentially, real quick, what this allows you to do is to set up a server on a remote computer that is listening for remote desktop connections on your account and that will actually appear in your remote access right here in the future. Um, so you don't need to download Google Chrome on the remote machine or anything. Technically, you can do this all via an SSH session, or there's other ways that you can do it if you don't want to get involved with SSH. So I'll try to point that out along the way. So let's go through a tutorial here. So set up another computer. Let's go ahead and do this. So let's begin. What it says on on the remote computer, which this is our remote computer for today, it wants you to download one of these two files. So this is a Windows computer. I'm going to download this file on that computer. So we could do this via SSH. You know what? Let's do it via SSH. I'm going to open up a terminal window here. The other option is to actually go to the computer physically and do the same exact thing that I'm going to be doing here. So um, let's see. What is our IP address over here? Let me open a command prompt you a little bit closer and let's do if config uh, I mean IP config because this is Windows IP config and our IPv4 address is this guy right here so I already have SSH set up on this Windows computer if you don't have it set up on your computer and you want to follow along I have other videos about how to do that so let's do that we can do SSH uh, what is my username who am I Tony T. Okay, so SSH Tony T, the username at the IP address. And we're on the same network, so this is going to work. So 10.17.131.183. Enter. What is my password? Type it in. Okay, now I am logged into the remote machine, this Windows desktop right here. So what we have to do, let's make this a little bit smaller so we can see both windows at the same time. What we have to do is download this MSI file. So I'm going to copy this and uh, let's see where we're located. Uh, dir. Um, let's go to the desktop so we can see this happen in real time. And let's use the curl command to get this file, curl dash capital O, and then the name of the file this hit enter and we should see that pop up on our remote machine like I said the other way you could do this and there it is the other way you can do this is actually come over here to this computer your remote computer and actually download that file so um, next up uh, you have to execute that file um, well let's let's go through the instructions here so let's go hit next so uh, authorize Chrome remote desktop to set up a new computer so let's go ahead and do that uh, I'm gonna take the easy way you can probably execute this from an SSH session, but uh, I'm going to just double click it since I have access to this, this computer. So it's doing its thing and that appears to have finished. So let's follow along here. Uh, let's click on the authorize button, the blue authorize button. And now it's saying if you were on a Windows computer and using command prompt, you can uh, copy this command and execute it on the remote computer. So that's what we're going to do. Let's uh, let's copy this and make a How should we do this? Let's make a new file um, I'm gonna open up a new terminal window here locally and I'm gonna make a new file called cmd.txt And I'm gonna paste that in and this is this is what we're gonna want to execute on the remote computer Again, the other option is you can manually type this in or put it on a thumb drive, go over to your remote computer and do that. Uh, but since we have SSH access, we're going to do it this way. So let's use the SCP command, secure copy to copy command.txt from our local computer to Tony T at the IP address. What was our IP address? 10.17.131.183. And we'll put that on the desktop into the same file, command.txt. So let's execute that. Type in the password. Uh, looks like uh, let's. I have to get the full path. I'm just going to copy it to the home directory. 
Okay, so that command.txt file should be in our remote machine in our home directory, which is this PC, C drive, users, Tony T, and then there's our command. I'm just going to drag that onto the desktop and I'll get out of here. And now that we have our command that we have to execute, let's simply copy this from the text file and we will execute it here. So now it's asking for a pin of at least six digits. I'm going to go ahead and type that in and confirm that pin. Okay, and that should take care of that. So let's go over to our host computer and go to the remote access section. And we should see that computer pop up in here. So let's re refresh this page, see if it shows up. And there it is. So we have uh, the desktop with the, the unique name, the unique identifier in here. So let's click on that. And that's going to connect to the desktop. Asking for that pin that I just created. So I'm going to type that in. And we'll remember the pin. Click this button. And there we go. We now have access to our remote desktop. We didn't even have to install Google Chrome on this remote computer. And now we can interact with it as if we were sitting in front of it. Now, I know uh, a lot of what we did today might be sophisticated to over your head if you're not familiar with SSH. Um, there is more than one way that you can accomplish what we did today. If you boil it down, all we really did was we installed a program on the remote machine, that MSI file, and then we executed that one command, which we were told exactly what to do on the host machine. And then once we did that, after we made our pin, it shows up in your list of remote access devices here. So anytime I come back into my Google Chrome account or my uh, Google account, which it, this will work for the Google account that I'm signed into, uh, I can see that as long as this computer's on and powered on and running, then I will be able to access it via remote desktop. So that's about it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.